Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hook. We are back for the next part of joining graining squares. I'm so excited. Um, so if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'll have those in the link below for you. Um, We've done a couple different joining grainy squares and just different tips and tricks for them. So today I'm gonna to show you guys another way to join grainy squares. I am so stoked about it. So I'm gonna grab my grainy squares and my yarn and I'm gonna get started. Um, if you have another method that you wanna use, make sure you leave that in the comments below so I can get that done for you and I will see you guys in just a second. Hi friends, real quick, if you guys want to find out how to join the coolest crochet community on the internet, make sure you check out the link in the description below and I cannot wait to see you in the community. All right, so we are back with part two of joining our granny squares. So this one is really fun. This is just a very simple single crochet join. So what this is going to do is it's essentially going to leave the top flat against each other and there will be a little ridge on the bottom. So I'm going to show you in a, a contrasting color just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but it you can do it with the same color and you won't be able to see it. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to make our slip knot and then we want to put the right sides of the squares facing each other. So I'm just going to fold this on top and we want the wrong sides. So whatever, whatever your wrong side is of your square to be facing the outside. So that's what we're going to work on. So to start this, we're going to insert our hook. Wherever we're going to start it, I'm starting it in the chain. And we attach our yarn. And we join it like that. We just, we just make a little single crochet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crochet on the outside loops. So... If you're looking here, we're going to go in the outside loop here. And then on the inside, we're going to go on that outside loop there. And we're going to single crochet. So we go through the outside loop and then the outside loop in single crochet. So the loop closest to you and the loop furthest from you. And we're just going to continue to single crochet. And this is a pretty standard join. Um, a lot of people use this join just because it's easy and it's pretty and it's simple. So outside loop, outside loop, single crochet. And because the the raw or the right sides are facing each other, it's kind of puts those inside loops. If you see here, the inside loops are facing down. So it kind of makes it a little bit easier to join your squares because those inside loops are already doing the work for you. So now I'm just back in my chain. And I single crochet. So from the back of your squares on the wrong side, you have this ridge here. So you could do this on the front side as well. It doesn't have to go on the back. I just like it there. And then on this side, it's essentially, if you were using the same color, it would be an invisible seam. Using the contrasting color, you kind of give it a pop in between, and it makes it, I think it looks beautiful. Um, I think it's a lot of fun, and it's a nice, pretty way to add color into your, your seam without it being overwhelming. So the gold, I think, looks really pretty with the tea leaf. Um, but yeah, so that is how you would do a single crochet 
join on your granny squares. So it's not a super intricate or super in-depth um, type of tutorial. It's really simple and yeah, you can see the ridge there. When I hold it up like this, it sticks up just a little bit. It's not, it, it's not really bad. I think it's pretty. Um, but yeah, because you're going through the outsides of the stitches, it just gives that little tiny gap there. Um, you could go through both sides and it would give you a whole different look. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial and this little segment of Granny Square joining that we're doing every Friday over here. Um, if there's another method that you'd like to see, leave that in the comments below. I'd love to try it out and show you guys how to do it. Um, I know we're going to try a join as you go here, maybe next week or the week after. So we've got a week free. You let me know what you want to see and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.